Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over entrepreneurship and what it truly is. Most people think that entrepreneurship, you're going after money, it's the greed of money. And we're going to be explaining that it is the pursuit of personal freedom. Now, it's not to say that we don't like money, obviously, and especially Kirby. You give, you wave a dollar bill in Kirby's face and he's, he's smelling blood. So, you know, money is definitely the reason why you will have freedom. The money liberates you from your job. It liberates you from those debts, from bills and all of that. But the true driven path is that personal freedom. And that is what you chase as an entrepreneur. But Kirby, I'll hand it off to you so you can give a little bit maybe of a backstory as to what your thoughts were in the beginning of achieving that freedom. All right. First, before I go into that, I want to, you know, I want to let you know I'm offended. Um, I'm offended from the fact that you said that you wave a dollar in front of my face. <laughs> It'll um, I'll be I'll be what's the name? I, I think it's offensive because I don't need a dollar. I didn't jump in trash cans for pennies. Well, let 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 that be known for pennies, and still to this day, if I make a mistake, like if I'm throwing a receipt away and a penny goes in, I'm jumping in the trash can to go with. It. Just let you know that's that, that I'm offended by you took me all the way up to a dollar. I don't even need to go that high, but but yeah. So for for me, it's it's about self preservation. It's it's really about self preservation. Um, like I mean, it's been uh annotated documented talked about on this channel many a times i if it's anything that could be done wrong with money i done it it's been done by me and i know what it's like and i'm not sitting here saying it's a man and woman thing because i know it's a lot of single mothers out there it's no it's a lot of women out there but i know it's what it was like for me as a man trying to say that he has a family he's trying to build something and he had nothing. And I mean, I had nothing, nothing. I had negative nothing. That's how bad my nothing was with no opportunities coming on the horizon. You know, I had to volunteer to do dangerous things just to keep my head above water. You know, people think dangerous is, you know, oh, I got to work at McDonald's and I got to work on the fried rack. No, I'm talking about, I got to go to third world countries live in austere conditions just to keep my head above water that includes getting shot at and everything else getting blown up by bombs that's just keep my head above water that's not advancing in life that's just to keep my head above water so that's what money is to me it's just to be able to maintain and hold what i have and it's not about going to get the next luxury good, luxury item. It's not about going to get the next, uh, the biggest house. It's about making sure I maintain and making sure I have comfortability and being comfortable with not having to worry. That's the biggest thing for me. Not having to worry about how I'm going to pay for something. If that makes sense. Yeah, that makes total sense. And I like how you brought up a little bit of, you know, where you came from. Because it really shines a light for me on a point that I've always mentioned, which is in America, in our in this country, not everybody has the same advantages, but everybody has the same opportunities. And in your case, you had to create your own opportunities. And so because you didn't have the advantages. And so I just want like, so people can see that you can be in a position where you see no opportunity at all, and that's fine. But that doesn't mean that there isn't an opportunity. You just have to figure out how you're going to create it for yourself. And for me, at least, you know, I wasn't any kind of athlete. I didn't have any skills or talents. I wasn't in college. I kind of just needed to figure something out. And I just knew that I wanted to be free from having to report to a job for another 40, 45, 50 years or whatever. And that was all I had seen from people is they're just stuck at this job. They hate their job. And the biggest thing to me was like those little things where 
you wish you had the freedom to do, but oh no, I can't because I got to go to work. Like you've got family in town you want to go visit, or you've got a friend in town you want to go visit, but you can't because they're only here during a weekday. Or you've got an appointment, so you got to skip out of work. And then if you don't have sick days, your job doesn't pay you. It's just stuff that's just stupid. And people don't realize you're not free. You think you're free, but you're not because you're, you're a slave to this job. You know, and one of the big things that I saw too with this is like, you know, you've got someone close to you that's sick and passing away, but you're only going to see them if you got personal time off. You're only going to see them if you have vacation. And, but if you had freedom, if you had your own, if you didn't have to report to anybody, no one can tell you anything. No one could hold that over you. And so that was the biggest thing I chased and wanted. And still to this day, that's the biggest thing that I go after. It's just the freedom. But obviously, yes, the money does come with it. The money is the reason why you will have the freedom. But, you know, it's it's a different feeling and a different sense of confidence when you do have that power over your own life yeah um you all right first off let's 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 break it down a little bit you said you were an athlete and you didn't have college i was an athlete and i did have college and it didn't help me not one bit so <laughs> you wasn't missing out on nothing there <laughs> no, no. so but yeah it and everybody fancies the greed. I, I mean, even family, family and friends, most of us friends now that don't know me as close as my family do, they think it's about greed. It's about the money. But then the same thing, the same people that think it's greed, they want to know, well, why I'm not driving a Lamborghini? That's what greed does. You know, me, I got a, a Ford Edge and a Toyota Corolla outside. That's it. I live in a middle class neighborhood. I always tell Alex I'm one step away from the project. But it gives me comfort. It gives me comfort. I don't have to worry about a mortgage payment. I don't have to worry about a car payment. I don't have to worry about if my mom gets sick, can I take time off to do what needs to be done? I don't have to worry about if uh, emergencies happen, will I have the affordability to pay for my family to get from one place in the United States to another place in the United States or anywhere in the world. I don't have to worry about, hey, do I have to go into debt to handle this emergency? That is better than 90% of rest of America. Most people don't even have money in a bank accounts to handle a $500 emergency. We now, because I live a life of not greed, of just, hey, I want to have the consumption of money to handle. It's going to be a lot of things that's going to come on through life. The older you get, the higher it costs just through medical expenses and everything else. It's just about being able to maintain. You don't have to be show off and show out. You don't have to be that person. Me, I'm t-shirts. Me, I got on a tight t-shirt today. You probably can see my heartbeat through this type thing. But I'm just a teacher and shorts guy. You know, I'm not, you know, Ferragamo, Louis Vuitton, everything all day. That's not me. I actually avoid being around people that are rich. Just because I don't want them to think that I aspire to be them. Because I don't aspire to be them. I don't want to wake up and have to work to make sure my family can acquire the needs that they have in their life. So those are big things that people get confused. Wealth is not greed. Wealth, real wealth, is just about being comfortable so you don't go back into that state that you was in. I mean, Jeff Bezos, I keep bringing him up. Jeff Bezos was a nine to five worker. He had a good paying job. He was a nine to five worker. He started off in his garage. But he aspired for more. I mean, now that he's, you know, in his 60s, you know, he's been hitting the gym trying to get big to make it look like he's younger. But him coming up from zero to 10 billion, zero to 10 billion, he's still driving a, you know, Honda Accord. If he's at 10 billion and driving a Honda Accord, why the hell should I, you know, have something more than a Corolla? That's really how I look at it. And it's, 
it's not for what I look at because I don't have no problem driving a Corolla. I don't have a problem driving a Ford Edge. It's for everybody else to look in the mirror to say, if these people are doing it, why the hell am I not doing it? Why am I not living to the real income that I have and not trying to impress people with buying stuff that I really can't afford? Because you impressing people that don't live in your house, but you're making the people that live in your house suffer for the choices that you make. But Alex, I know I'm way over. So go ahead. <laughs> what you got? No, I like that last point where you said you're making the people living in your house suffer for the choices that you make. A lot of people do not see that. Like the majority of American families do not see that. It's always financial issues within a marriage. And, you know, one isn't on the right path. The other is. And it just causes conflict. But you have to really be on board if you're if in a family setting you know you all have to be on board and have the same vision and goal and achieve freedom for your family like you don't want to be showing off like you were saying you don't want to be just showing off for other people that don't even mean anything you need to have that personal power over your own life like i was saying and that comes from taking that entrepreneur path a lot of people they just want the money they just want the greed like you were saying, you buy the Ferrari, that's greed. And none of that stuff matters at the end of the day because you still got to go to that job to get that money. And before this video, I had mentioned like the executive position, like many executives are rich, but they're not free because as soon as they're cut from shareholder decisions or they're laid off or whatever, you know, the next executive fills their spot and they're stuck in a mansion that they got to pay for. <laughs> but right. and that and that's and that's the truth of it is freedom is freedom. I, I respect uh, a director that I know. Uh, he's been promoted. He's been promoted a lot of times. But he still stays in the same house that he had when he was just damn near entry level employee. I respect it. I respect it because he realized that it's about comfort. I mean, but I've seen other people in executive positions, every time they get promoted, they got to buy a new house, a new car to show everybody that they made it. Why? I mean, like me, if I left this house and then I moved to a bigger house, I'm not having more kids. It's still going to be the same number of people. I'm not going to have more people coming over my house because nobody comes over now. So the only people that's going to come over my house is people that really went down for me when I had a smaller house. So really, I'm just paying for empty space. For what? Everybody want to say, oh, I'm not doing it for nobody else. I'm doing it for myself. Yeah, yourself to get your self-esteem up to impress other people. It's called self-esteem, not everybody else's esteem. That's the problem. Everybody wants to, you know, they come up with all the excuses they want, but it's to impress other people. It's nothing that can somebody can say that will make me move. Only way that I would ever move from this house if it's just the opportunity of a lifetime. But it ain't an opportunity of a lifetime where I'm going to go buy a bigger house to pay for empty rooms for nobody to show up, for nobody to see me. It makes no sense. So greed has nothing to do with it. It's about personal preservation, no matter what happens in life. That's the reason why most people, not all, but most people strive to reach million, multi-million, decamillionaire status. With all that being said, guys, share this video. Leave us a comment down below. Like the video, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one.